Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an interesting question from one of our viewers. They want to know how to use C++17 features, specifically the file system library in Eclipse CDT Neon. They mentioned that while C++17 is feature complete, the specifications aren't fully ready yet. So how can they leverage these new features in their code? Let's dive in. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your questions, answering them and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy just like me and hopefully get to that resolution you need. Now, let's get started. Get to use C++17 features in Eclipse Neon, you first need to ensure that your compiler supports C++17. The most common compilers that support C++17 are GCC version 7 or later and Clang version 5 or later. Next, you need to configure Eclipse CDT to use the C++17 standard. Open your project properties, navigate to C++ build, and then to settings. In the settings, under the tool settings tab, find the compiler options. Here, you can add the flag for C++17 support. Add st equals C++17. Now, let's implement the file system feature. Include the file system header in your code. You can use it to iterate over directories easily. Finally, build your project and run it. You should now be able to use C++17 features, including file system, in your Eclipse Neon environment. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. C++17 support in Eclipse Neon is limited. While step file system is part of C++17, current compilers don't fully support it yet. Instead, you can use experimental file system. For the new compiler, you can use C14 without needing to set the C17 dialect. Just remember to link the static library libzc++fs.a. To simplify usage, define the std file system namespace to use the experimental headers as if they were finalized. In summary, Set Eclipse to use C++14, link the necessary library, and include the experimental file system header. And that's it guys. I hope those questions and answers really helped solve that solution for you. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until you need next technical video, I'll be here. Have a good one.